Okay, so Meg, what's going on with this Shaka Khan look you got going? <laughs> well, what had happened was my hair was looking a hot mess, so I need to brush it out, and then I just ended there. Okay. You, like you got shocked and con. Like what? <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what your favorite part is at the club? I come Maybe. in the club, shake my dress, and you be singing it just like that too, don't you? Do it again. Do it how I be. Do it how I, I come be. in the club, shaking my dress, throwing these bows and busting these heads. That's what you do. Oh, a huh? prime mob yeah. reference? Yeah, yeah a yeah, prime I mob. First of all, Meg, you're 43. Second of all, <laughs> all that song. <laughs> you probably come to the club like a big twist. Like, shut the fuck up. That old ass <laughs> reference. That was from the first summer jam ever. Hold on. First of all, all y'all know it. So it's not that old. If everyone on here know it. I know it. I know it. Is. It is old. You though. definitely know it too, Pat. You was there. You that they wrote that for you specifically. I didn't have dreads yet, but I wanted them. Pat, mm -hmm. Pat looked like a black Vin Diesel back then. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I have no hair. That nigga was all Moles. He was all Owen Wilson. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Owen Wilson got a big ass nose, fam. God damn. Owen Wilson. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> That's damn. damn that damn Trevor. <laughs> Trevor hit me with that. What's up, Ty? Hey, CB. Hey, everybody. Ty Dollar hey, Sign. You feel hey, man. Miss you, I'm Ty. Oh, I'm so glad you back today, girl. I'm glad to be back. I missed y'all too, man. Your hair laid. Is that what they say? Ty you know. said something real serious, and then every four or five words, we get a tongue ring glimpse. Like, oh yeah, don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> every four or five words. <laughs> don't you forget? Uh, <laughs> I've been talking about the most serious twist. shit too. She's like, you <laughs> can't believe what's going on on Ukraine, and you see that silver. You be like, hey, what you? <laughs> Ukraine? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Ukraine or are you Ukraine? No, no, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had this thing for so long. I don't know. Maybe I should give it up. I don't know, but it feels weird if I don't have it. I've had it since yeah. 1998. You, that's what I'm saying. God, if you don't damn. have no real reason to take it out. Yeah. yeah. I know. I mean, after that long, I know it would feel weird not to have some in your mouth. I mean, yeah, you know, keep balls in my mouth at all times. Wait, yeah, you, you know, the same. yellow hat saying that shit, looking like a little Paddington bear psychiatrist. Like, tell me more. She about... is so dirty. Wait, wait, Ty, yes. you, have the, you have the same one since 1998? No, no, no. I mean, I've purchased different ones, but I've had the piercing since 1998. Do you got like multiple and you pick which one for the day? Yeah, like I have different ones, but I, for the most part, I just keep this one in, which is just the standard metal one. I had like a, when I was working corporate America and it was frowned upon, I had the one that looked like the flesh colored one. So people couldn't really see it. And then I had like a glow in the dark one. Okay, and, yeah, you corporate know, time, you got party time. time. Okay. Right. Oh, like but now it's just because a nigga can't find his dick. Like, oh, that's my dick. I, I couldn't that's what I was about that. to say. What 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 context <laughs> is the glow in the dark used for? It's a visual I mean, simulation. Y'all ain't never got there. You know, Why y'all gotta like, always you know, go so far? Come on, that's the glow in the dark. It has to be you know for a reason. No, you because she's when she out and no. right party, she'd be like, ah. Eh. And that's like, cool. Mm, Why y'all gotta You know what I mean? If you're not in the dick hole, you don't need a damn uh <laughs> but, the visual I'm, you know, I'm I'm a grandmother now, so I just keep the standard metal one. <laughs> and you ever you ever like when you're when your dude laying down, you ever like turn off the lights and have him like find you by like opening your mouth every now and then? That'd be kind of a fun game, no. right? You'd be like, over here. I, 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 I never did that. It's coming. <laughs> I never did that. It's coming. Had to be like, put the glow in the dark uh, shit on ready for this. It gets I had one that had the dice. Yeah. Like I had the one with the dice on top. That was cool for you a minute. You had dice on top. You be like, uh, seven. yeah, like, it was pretty cool. Seven. <laughs> you roll them or did the dude? Now, <laughs> nah. But now I just got the regular one. Wait, wait, so. Ty, Ty. Was it round or was it square with the with the dice thing? It was square. How the fuck were you not scraping the roof of your mouth every time you spoke? Because it was because it was flat. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the dude was so like, "What's like, that? A dice? Oh, that's cool. Ow, ow, oh, God. ow, ouch! <laughs> ow, ow, snake eyes. 
it doesn't, it doesn't get in the way. Of uh, shit. I've had like, it for so out. long. Please crap out. <laughs> uh, you know, it's a part of me now, and I yeah. can't. You know, I take it out to clean it, but I put it back in. Yeah, like yeah. put it back in. You know, grandma it's with fun. a tongue ring. What a time. Hey, man. Tight. What a time. I love. Listen. It. Horrible Leg grandmother. Leg but, too, bro. Leg having this baby in like two weeks. He finna drop this cowardly lying baby in about two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, a grandma too. I'm a grandma already. Are you? I'm a grandma too, girl. We in the young grandma How? My stepson, my oldest one, had a, a baby in January. Oh, so you a oh, you've been a grandma for four months and didn't say nothing. Well, I mean, it never came up. Meg, I mean, was, Meg, Meg was pregnant for four months at this same now. You are you really surprised that she keeps it to herself? That's normal. Most women don't tell you before the third month, anyway. Most women don't tell you to the baby four. <laughs> you have been pregnant ninety four months and still ain't saying nothing. Y'all here because he's keeping it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got some pregnant. Hey, what's that lady on Mortal Kombat who got four arms? Uh, Shiva. Shiva, Shiva or Shiva? Shiva. Yeah, Shiva? Yeah, Meg. Go ahead. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I saw the reveal on Instagram, Meg, and when you David, I was like, I knew it. <laughs> I was like, I knew it. Just like when um, uh, Jasmine W. Uh -huh. When she announced it, I was like, I knew it. But you know, if you've been pregnant before, like you can always spot. You can see that, the nose starting to see aura. Yeah, you can. Who? I was like, the Jasmine what? W. Who? Jasmine W. She's on, on IG. I don't know her. She I don't know her? Videos. She, she, she's pretty funny. What'd you say mm -hmm. about the nose? It spreads. It gets like wider because you're, you know, when you're pregnant, there's a lot of cartilage that grows. Everything grows. You have a lot of hormones. In your body, so cartilage stuff that's not like like your nose or ear, you know stuff like that. Feet, they all grow. And your so ears I didn't grow? know that. I just thought it was just a little like bit, but not like that's not usually. It, it's not as like um, it's not as common as like your feet growing for some reason. I don't know. Just the hormones that come, your feet will grow. Mostly. Every time I might have a kid, she have a she have to wear another shoe size. But for me, it was the glow. Like you had this. Like we were on podcast one day, and I was like, hmm. It's bronzer, it's girl. Thank then, you. Nah, that was pregnancy. I was like, mm. I was I like, you know, I'm not my not pregnant in so long. You said what? I said, I'm not going. What? I haven't seen Meg not pregnant in so long. I, don't even I remember. was not pregnant for three years. <laughs> yeah, but you were still kind of pregnant. Yeah, because we ain't seen you. What you trying to say? I was fat. No, we had not seen you. It's so it's like, and you yeah. moved to Atlanta to have your kid. You call yeah. me fat, CP. Okay, I got it. Did I call you fat, man? You look great. I, I, I got what you're saying. Too. Okay. Wow, you're gonna do me like that? Definitely. You know, but I wasn't. CP, you did lose a lot of weight. Did you like? What have you been doing? I look great. Talk to me. You been? No, you <laughs> have. You have lost weight. I meant to tell you that when I saw you. Uh, when I saw you at, <laughs> through roasting. You me. know what it is? Can I be honest with you? Every time I go to New York for a long period of time, I'm have to I do so much walking. And that shit yeah. just, it really mm -hmm. just, it just trim you out. Like, I swear to God, like, walk, 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 walk. In LA, I would be in my car everywhere. And I'm from Michigan, wow. so we drive everywhere too. Mm -hmm. Little shit like that, just walking, man, that shit really helps. And then I can't really eat like that because I'm in these hotels. So like, I want to eat late <laughs> at night. Like I like to and I can't because not a lot of shit just available for real. Unless you want that halal shit. Mm -hmm. Halal is amazing. Really? When you're 14, mm -hmm. not when you fucking. Uh, <laughs> you know. Halal guys? Are you kidding me? That's like the best food ever. I love it. I love halal. I, I, no, I eat, out here. You be eating uncrustables like every day. Talking about some if you're 14. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's a 14 year old's meal, CP. First of, all, first of all, peanut butter was developed by a slave. Say no, it wasn't. No, Stop. It and y'all need to stop telling that lie because Carter G. Woodson did not create peanut butter, okay? He changed some of the techniques for it, but he did not create it. First of all, George Washington Carver? Oh, uh, George Washington, Washington Carver. Carver. Yeah, I'm like, like who? You say, Meg? I was like, what? I did say Carter G. Woodson. Y'all please. Wait, he didn't, that nigga didn't make up peanut hey, butter? Man. No, he didn't make peanut butter. He did, Meg. He designed Crunchy. First of all, Crunchy was not a thing. 
<laughs> and it's a crunches. What is history doing? Are they just making up shit to tell everybody? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like I thought there was like 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 a good a hundred lies, but now there's like little white lies. Like why did they even cut? Why this one? This peanut because butter. Because they're white. The lies are white. So. But it's about a black man. Still, no, you know he, he, he did like fifty million things with the peanut itself. Like he created a bunch of oils, everything. But oh, he didn't the nigga invented the peanut, peanut butter. butter. He didn't invent peanut butter. People, Can you think imagine if one of your homeboys was writing a history book. And how you could not really resist the urge to be like, yo, throw me in that bitch. Say I did a um, right. <laughs> say I was like, uh, everyone involved said, is dead. <laughs> soap, nigga. I made soap and also chains. First nigga with a chain, and um, <laughs> you know, just throw some shit in there for me. Though. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, just make a couple verses it. about me Listen, on your album. That's why so many people don't trust the Bible because so many hands were on the creation of it and the writing of it because people be like, man, how do we really know what happened, what did happen and all that type of stuff? That's one of the main arguments is that so many hands was on it. I feel like yep. the Lord will tell you everything you need to know, okay? He didn't yeah. tell you about your hair? My hair is cute. You need to all stop right. saying that. My hair is really cute. He really you look did. radiant, Meg. I like Thank it a lot. Thank you. To here, don't to here. Shut up over there, okay? You can't see nothing. You got <laughs> freckles on your pupil, so you don't even know because you're looking through freckles all the time. <laughs> Leave me alone. Freckled pupils, <laughs> Meg. You get so triggered that it's so you scary do. how you see like mm, whatever. You don't even know because you're fat as fuck and your right. eyes are. <laughs> like, I mean, that's why I'm scared for these kids. I ain't a man that got pregnant. Her forehead got bigger. She head but one of these kids. She's gonna be charged with murder. My son do be telling me I'm mean to him. Probably <laughs> be roasting him. I say he always be like, Mommy, you mean. I'd be like, and go over here and pick this clothes up. Like I said. Well, I remember when you was all nice to him. Now you got another one coming. You like, fuck this little boy. <laughs> <laughs> She was all in love with her son at first. He's my world. <laughs> He's my world, but he need to listen to what I tell him to do. I he got a little like, girl coming. She's like, fuck this little boy. Me and my little girl finna take over. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, listen, this is a good spot for us to jump into today's first topic. Uh, I want to give a shout out to our special guest. We got Ty Davis in the house, ladies and gentlemen. And then, of course, we got the original squad. We got yeah. Med School. Patrick Cloud, CP, and of course, I'm to hear more. Pat is really perplexed about this peanut he butter. He really didn't butter. invent this shit at all. <laughs> You're, is that what you've been looking up this whole time? Oh, oh, no, I can tell by his face. He was just getting more and more sound. He was like, hey. He went back, peanut, Aztecs had peanut butter. That's crazy. All right. <laughs> Liar. Nothing is real. All right, we're going to jump into this first topic right after this. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Look, people don't always realize that physical symptoms like headaches, teeth grinding, and even digestive issues can be an indicator of stress. And let's not forget about doom, scrolling, sleeping too little, sleeping too much, under eating, and overeating. I deal with stress on a daily. I'm talking about from bills to family to just trying to live everyday life to lack of sleep. And it is very stressful on my body and my mind. Stress shows up in all kinds of ways and in a world that's telling you to do more, sleep less, and grind all the time, here's your reminder to take care of yourself. Do less and maybe try some therapy. I have definitely done therapy and it has saved my mental health. It has helped me put together a better schedule for my life, understanding that I don't have to do every single thing and get every single thing done and cram it into one day. It has definitely helped me mentally and Physically, I definitely recommend therapy. I've been doing it for over three years now, and I love it. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't even have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy. So give it a try and see if you like online therapy and see if it can help you lower your stress. All deaf listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp dot com slash squad that's s q u a d d that's better help b e t t e r h e l p dot com slash squad first topic of the day we have would you rather have a horse for transportation or always have to catch a ride 
Not about that. How do your people feel about that? Horses. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Probably about the same as yours, you goddamn centaur. Uh, <laughs> no, it was funnier, right? <laughs> now we y'all love each other ride, so much. Catching the ride, we're not talking about Uber or Lyft. We're talking about you literally have to always nice. ask somebody to catch a ride. Oh, not hitchhiking. Mm. Nah, hitchhiking yeah. It's our hitchhiking. Yeah, but no, 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 no uh, car services like Uber, mm. Lyft, or, or others. So you either. You on the back of this horse, goddamn me! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna still go with the with the catching a ride because if you have the horse, it's you you be out in the elements. What if it's raining and you're riding this horse? Yeah. I always imagine my horse slipping on the freeway in the snow, <laughs> and that'd piss me the fuck off. Do they <laughs> slip? Yeah, I remember seeing this video on Instagram with this horse like he was going full speed. Nobody was on it. He was going full speed, and then it turned. But the street turned, but he didn't. The horse just slipped and fell all into the building. And, all that. and he got up and just ran away. So they definitely slipped. I've seen someone drift a horse low-key. What the fuck? Seriously, I, it's, it was like it was like in a rodeo, and he like turned, and it, and it like slid like an, an, a good amount, like more than a slide. Like it was a, it was a drift. I gotta find that. And it's like, and if you hurt, if your horse gets hurt, they put it down. So like, you can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it breaks its leg or something, that's it. Now you don't have transportation at all. Be careful. Be careful. I feel like there's a lot of people who catch a ride with someone. I feel like I can name like five people, and that is their main mode of transportation. It is. Let me tell you this: if I figure out that you've been using me for rides every time you call, I'm gonna block you. Wow. As soon, as people, as soon as people realize that you're only using them for rides, man, they're going to block the shit out of you. Wait, but hey, what about man. Uber? Does Uber count? No, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. There's no ride share program. You you literally have uh, to catch a ride with somebody or hitchhike. That's too walk. That's a lot. You be smelling like singing. Can you get Heelys? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so if you take a flight, when you when you get to the airport, you have to figure out where to put your horse, and then you have to find a horse when you land? Yes. Nah, bro, I'm not doing that. <laughs> let's let's say there's a number you can call to set up your horse transportation everywhere you go, but you gotta always call the number. Make sure you yeah. got a horse. Yeah, the Airbnb, your horse. Your horse can't just sit while you're gone. Somebody gotta use their horse. You gotta rent that bitch out. Yeah, let's say Airbnb. let's say in this scenario, like you have a limited <laughs> fund, but you just like you have an affinity for horses and horse riding. So you got the money to have somebody there when you land. They got the horse in the back of the trailer. They unload the horse and you just go. So finding the horse isn't the problem. It's really just, do you want to ride it, the horse? You, you, yeah. Do you want to always be on the back of the horse? Horses are fun, though. Have y'all ever ridden a horse before? They're not. They're, they hurt after 10 minutes. It's not fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, you got to get you a, a good saddle and you got to break in your butt so it don't hurt like that. But other than that. Lot of butt. that hurt, my, it hurt my spine. I'll tell you something. I, I want to hear the horse side of the story about carrying Meg around all day. I mean, I'll tell you <laughs> what, man. The bullshit is... No. <laughs> she was trying to sit down all between her ass cheeks, man. I ain't like that shit at all. <laughs> I'm a one-person horse. She keep getting her pregnant ass on me with these babies. <laughs> I, hey, you think I ain't said I said, get you a camel, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I you a camel, ma'am. <laughs> oh, camel would be so much worse. I feel like camels don't. I've seen them like run a little bit, but they don't get like nearly as fast as a horse does. That's um, why you got to moose. I've seen camels haul ass though. They be really not, not like a horse. I've never seen a camel haul ass. I've yeah, seen them run, but their run looks more like a like a slow gallop. Yeah. But I've never seen a, a camel haul ass, bro. That's they really why they call that. it horsepower for cars and not camel power. Pack. They just picked it. They could have picked, picked an animal, man. Are you stuff. serious? They could have no, called it horsepower power is, and then adjusted legit. the fucking unit of measurement. That's horse what I'm saying. It makes power. more sense to say horsepower, not camel power. Well, why not say cheetah power? Yeah, there's there's faster things. Because, okay, because, because horses, horses were like means everywhere tra- in America. Horses were means of Ford, transportation. Ford company. Oh yeah, that's right. Horses were the means of transportation. So 
like this car goes as fast as this many horses. So it has this oh. horse mm-hmm. So nobody was riding cheetahs. Paintball, <laughs> though. But I mean, they could have. They they really could have said anything. <laughs> oh wait a second. Hold on. This is this is crazy. I just I just googled are camels faster than well how how fast are, are camels, and this thing says that. Uh, when it comes to running through the desert terrain, camels are faster than horses. I guess. Oh, oh desert, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are a few reasons why, but one of the main reasons is the size of the hoofs. Camels have a much wider hoof than a horse, reduces the pressure on the feet, helps them. They got that coochie toe. That makes sense. <laughs> but camels, camels ain't running fast, man. But look, camels run like one foot at a time. They be like, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. horses have that, like. Put the front it's two. a gallop. It's oh, different. gallop. You don't think the camels gallop? I mean, it's just a slow gallop. So it says camels are slightly slower than horses because they can only reach speeds of around 20 to 25 miles per hour, while horses have an average gallop speed of around 25 to 30 miles per hour. The fastest speed clocked by a horse was 55 miles per hour. That motherfucker was hauling. Wow. 55? But then what if you have things? Like, if you have luggage and stuff, you can't put it on your horse. Man, uh, you know? Ty, you, you, you buy shit when you get that. You're a player. No, girl, they have. That's why they be having on the saddles. Like, they put the little bag on either side, so whatever you can fit in the little pockets on either yeah. side of that bag. And, just, and see, them. the horse will be slower. Like, you could get there. I'm going to ride with somebody. <laughs> I'm going to just... Nah. I'm going to get in somebody's yeah, Geo Metro, know. and we're going to go. That's some but plain I mean, shit to pull up to a club on a horse, though. No. Ain't nobody no, gonna be no, you, hey, you don't hey, smell like outdoors. Ain't nobody gonna be fucking with you if you pull up on a horse, though. Niggas pull up on horses, you just automatically assume they got a six shooter with silver bullets. Not if there's a, a security pat down. <laughs> they find your holsters. Yo ass, and they yo ass poop. fall off that damn horse right from the club. Yeah, they, the they, your horse. I'm not doing that. I'm that poop, that poop come out while he running. I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> oh wow! I feel like you'd just be sore at the club the whole day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get used uh-huh. to it. I, I would imagine you're gonna you get, be bow legged. I mean, yeah. nah. Imagine mm-hmm. getting used to it. The same way people like get used to spin class because that seat on the spin bike, nigga, that motherfucker's unforgiving right there. I feel like we're only talking about. Uh... What's it called? We're only talking about like how comfortable it is to ride each, but what about the fact that if you have to have a ride everywhere, you could just not get a like there could be nobody available at one point. You could have somewhere like important to go at least. That's, that's why you gotta get there on your Heelys, okay? <laughs> no, at least the horse is in its stable. Horses ain't got shit to do. They're just waiting for you to have a ride, as opposed. But to you got a saddle. You got to put the saddle on it, and then you got to get it. on it. And it, but what if it's raining? What if it's snowing? It's the same as getting in a car, really. <laughs> no, but like if you riding a horse, you getting wet while you riding a horse. You got, you no, got galoshes. You, you, gonna... you got galoshes with the raincoat. Throw the rain boots and that raincoat on. Now I got to do all this extra shit? Nah, bro, I'm going to just stay home if we got to do all this. I don't even want to go now. <laughs> I mean, that's an option. That's always an option. And then for the ladies... What if we surf in the crimson way? You know what I mean? With this shark week, now you oh, bouncing man. up and down on this shark week and... is crazy. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Girl, you better put that menstrual cup in the add a pad. Get that extra much cup. protection. You be fine. Listen, get that I don't want to talk about biker shorts. You be all right. I don't want to talk about what my uh, my flow is, but that menstrual cup. No, I mean, I need like a. Two liter. Go get you, go get you some, some, some doggy pads, some puppy make pads. Period underwear now, girl. You good? Nah, she be good you know, with, I'm a, just, with, a, with a puppy pad. Just put the puppy pad on. The nah, side. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for my clock to run out. You know what I mean? My, my ovary light is on. You know, I'm just waiting for these last few eggs. Oh no! Nah. Waiting for the wrap up <laughs> around here. Nah. <laughs> Hell and then that's the only I hate riding with people though because it's like you gotta you're at their mercy. They're like, oh, I'm a, I'll be there. Yeah, I could come get you. And then an hour later, they still not there. Exactly. I, then you gotta leave when they're ready to go. But I'd rather do that than be on a horse. I don't know. Horse looks like freedom. Okay. 
<laughs> and horses got big booties and stuff. Horses and do got big booties. Not only that, right. like I would imagine that it's it's hella expensive to like keep a horse. Like the cost, like to keep one in a stable, the amount of food they would eat, and then like the care. Can you imagine? Like we had to take our dog yeah. to the fucking vet. And just just getting him seen was like five hundred dollars, and then the medicine. Yeah. How much like, oh, you okay, well, the kid, the how much do it morning. cost? To take care of you? How much cost do, do it cost to take care of you to here? Because that's what it's gonna cost me to take care of this horse. So I'm going horse. You can't just drive through the drive through in the morning and get an egg sandwich for you. Get an egg sandwich for your horse. He eat that bitch, and y'all keep going. Get him a hash brown. That was probably what would happen. <laughs> yeah, see, it costs too that, much. Put the McGriddle on the much. horse mouth. Y'all horse gonna, I ain't never, this be the first time I see a horse die from high cholesterol fucking around with y'all. <laughs> and then you get another horse. Nigga, that horse. these cars <laughs> die all, of all kind of shit. Horse Horses is, are mad expensive too. Riding around, <laughs> running around with gout. You got one foot heavier than the other. Nigga, mm-hmm. I just met somebody with gout. I didn't know that was like a, like it's still like prevalent. Like scouts People still like, getting that? Niggas still getting gout. It ain't like polio. That shit ain't go away. Nigga. The gout is still here. Who, how um, old are they? Um, <laughs> my homeboy that told me he, he was having a gout flare up was, he's like 39, 39, 40. Oh, wow. And I was like, nigga. He fat. Nah. <laughs> Somebody fat. put a root on him. No, he's not man. fat. He's not fat. It's a hereditary thing, evidently. Like, you don't It's have a what? Hereditary. 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 Hereditary thing. Right. Is that like a nerve, or was that really hereditary? <laughs> oh my gosh, do I have it? As I'm saying, somebody put a root on your boy. They put a spell on him. He must have did somebody wrong, and they put a little something on him, because there's no reason at 39 he should be dealing with that. He made that girl mad. He made somebody put real a, mad. She put a gout root on that nigga? Yeah, man. I'm telling you, man, I've been Googling witchcraft, because this is a couple niggas I'm trying to get up out of here, man. Just come to my page, man. There'd be people all in my comments talking about you need to cast a spell on somebody. <laughs> I know, yeah. right? What is right. that? When did they get bots? <laughs> Yo, who's out here buying spells off of Instagram, though, my nigga? Like, I bought some glasses. Uh, a couple shows. Nah, you need to go to spell. TikTok. The witches on TikTok? Oh, no, they be on some other stuff. I'd be like, man, these businesses is crazy. What do they do? <laughs> <laughs> they, got, <laughs> they got a whole Salem community on TikTok. Nigga. Yeah, it's it's TikTok. called it's called Witch Talk. Are you serious? Yes, I be on there like, <laughs> yo, like they be talking about wow. you want to break a soul tie. I be like, yes, yes, I do. And then the <laughs> shit they tell you to do, I be like, you know what? I be like, you know what? Nah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just let this dude I'm chill, just act I'm, I'm gonna just yeah, do you like drink bat blood. Yo, they be yo the sp- the stuff. That, yo, you gotta go to Witch Talk. That's all I'm saying. They be saying some stuff over there. I don't want to mess up that community because I don't want them coming for me. Listen, you know, you come you say the wrong thing. They be like, this bitch has to die. I, <laughs> hey, I like y'all like, with a wand. Yeah, One of my favorite shows is Charmed. I don't Amen. want smoke with the witch. Oh, there's some fine witches, CP, though. Like, witches aren't just, like, old ladies with long noses. Oh, no, I know. Like I know some sexy-ass witches. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. And they, do, they get you, though. They, this is how the witches get you. They'll ask you something like, have you ever done your birth chart? Hmm. What, what, do you know what time you were born? Oh, she a witch, bro. She trying to get you. Hey, no, I'll tell you the number one sign. The number one sign is when, when you see a pentagram, you know, those, those symbols, and you say something like, oh, I don't mess with the pentagrams, and they correct you. They're like, Actually, actually, that's a, that's a pagan symbol, and it doesn't really mean you're like, oh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> yep. Why do you know? Why do you know, sis? Nah. Actually, that doesn't mean anything. Ba- oh, well, never mind. <laughs> so you just you just got that goat hair <laughs> tattooed on your chest. You just that's what you decided to go with. No, that's a actually. <laughs> I don't fool them witches. Um, oh, you know, I only witches. dabble in a little bit of witchcraft, like manifestation. <laughs> you know, that's that's mildly witchcrafty. Yeah, that's, that's you know, that's like casting a spell a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> the power of three will set us free. No way. Let's put it to a vote. Let's put it to a vote. What y'all going with? Riding a horse everywhere or always have to ask for a ride? I'm getting a ride. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to get a ride too, man. That horse on like hella expensive. Have my garage thinking. <laughs> no goddamn garage. I wonder if it's more expensive than a car, though. 
A horse oh. is more expensive as far the as the upkeep. Yeah. Why? Because you feed it? Because you got to feed yeah. it. You got to groom it. Gotta if you get sick, it. you got to take care of it. You but know, with a car, you car. just... Barry watching these videos where these people clean out the hoofs of the, of the mm. horses. Yeah, I've seen it. Because like, mm -hmm. sometimes they'll get a pebble or something. Or, or yeah, they got to put that. new shoes on them. Man, they be, I mean, they be going, I be like, you be watching some weird shit. Sometimes I be questioning why I buried her, bro. Like, she, I come down and she be watching some weird shit, carpet cleaning videos. And shit. First of all, yeah. carpet cleaning videos is very soothing and it, right. it's satisfying to watch. You come upstairs and to hear watching glasses videos on YouTube. Well, I like these glasses. <laughs> glasses. Oh, these are the new ones. These are sturdier. <laughs> you can see PB typing in the world's biggest gap and be looking. Oh, see, my shit ain't even that bad. My shit. <laughs> oh, oh, here, look at that. I'm looking at grills for gaps. What kind of grills y'all got? First of all, my teeth are amazing. I just have a gap. You know, is it the grills East for gaps? Do you have whistle? <laughs> <laughs> Every time he tries, the tongue gets stuck. <laughs> I'm saying seriously, can people with gaps whistle? I never knew this. I feel like you, you oh, guys no. can whistle better. You say what? Can't you whistle better? Than it. No, I don't know. It. I heard that. Try it. To hear, to hear, he used to put white Tic Tacs under his pillow and trick the tooth fairy every time. She been yeah. ooh, they got Yo. me again. He got me again with these white Tic Tacs because I can't tell the difference. He got every me time again. You lie, that gap get wider and wider, my nigga. So just you keep on. Every time you lie, your gap get wider <laughs> and wider, nigga. Keep on. Keep I on. Have regular sized teeth to hear. I'm sorry that you have them goddamn uh, turtle teeth. <laughs> he got that teeth like that. Ah, oh, that bit that sucker. Yeah, that's your teeth ain't regular, nigga. You look like you got two shields in the front of your mouth. Look at the fuck about it. <laughs> Adventure of Link teeth having ass. Mm, Put it to mm, a boat. Mm. What you going with, CP? No, CP, seriously, can you whistle? <laughs> Why do we back I, here? I never, I'm I'm like, I was thinking about this. Can, like, is it different when you have a gap to whistle? I don't, I don't know how to answer that, cowardly lion. What I will say is that yeah, Tia made that joke early. Oh, I didn't hear it. God damn it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm not about to whistle out of my gap. First of all, um, no, I'm not out of your gap. Just whistle. Period. Can you whistle? Hey, whistle. Oh, he okay. just did it. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know. I, I legitimately was like, I wonder. Okay, that that now, felt now very racist shit, from your Asian side. Shit. Like, do those nigger lips? Do they? Do they whistle? <laughs> First of all, my yeah. lips are bigger than yours. My lips are You're way everything. bigger than yours. Let's not do that. You're okay. What, and just and matter of fact, I, I feel like there was a harmony in your whistle because you got a gap. So that was cool. I like yeah. it. <laughs> you said I have T pain whistles because I have a <laughs> so you got melody and harmony whistles. <laughs> melody and harmony. You got a soprano. You want to see some amazing? This nigga can eat coochie with his mouth closed. Now that's that's the amazing. <laughs> Here, your like teeth feel a little. You, you like just that, you like that? I can't oh. even feel it. It's like when a puppy bites you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's put it to a vote. What you going with? Is it be riding a horse or a ride with somebody? I'm gonna get a ride, man. I'm gonna get a ride. I can't do the horse. All right, uh, everybody went with um, ride with somebody. No, I'm, I'm getting a horse. I'm getting a horse too, my nigga. Trying the horse. Here, nigga. Bucking Bronco, we in this bitch. All right, so we're going to jump. Looks like the horses have it on that one, man. We're going to jump into this next topic right after this. That's right. We're back with new seasons of assets over liabilities and love and respect with Killer Mike, only on Revolt. Kicking off Monday nights will be assets over liabilities with hosts Rashad Bilal and Troy Millions of Earn Your Leisure as they sit down for exclusive interviews with young entrepreneurs and moguls like Nick Cannon, YG, Angela Yee, and more. Find out if they're working with assets or liabilities and how it may apply to your own business plan. Followed by Love and Respect with Killer Mike, a weekly talk show from the ATL hosted by rapper, actor, and activist Killer Mike. Featuring a diverse lineup of celebrities, politicians, and community leaders having passionate, insightful, and unfiltered debates about today's top issues. Guests include T.I., Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, Tyler Perry, Bernice King, Drew Ski, Fab Five Freddy, and more. New TV episodes air every Monday night starting at 9 p.m. Eastern on Revolt and stream anytime on the Revolt app 
and YouTube and at WatchRevolt.com. Next topic of the day we have, would you rather only eat leftovers for the rest of your life versus cook every meal for the rest of your life? Wait, so how would the leftovers work? Where so they left like, over from? Like, they, you just <laughs> open up your refrigerator and there's that little plastic container of leftovers from somewhere. Somewhere yeah. else, though? Somebody else ate it? Hey man, it's just it's just it will it might have been what was left at the end of the night. Somehow you get a you got a you got a service that gives you all the leftovers from the from the end of the night. <laughs> oh, from somebody no, else? That's too that's too easy. That's no, too not easy. somebody no, no, no. Else, like from a like restaurant. The like leftover meal. Yeah, just, nobody just, ate out of your food. Yeah, just what's left over at a restaurant. But you never getting fresh food. Every all your shit gonna be heated up. No. Oh, cook. Are we started already? Or three, two, one, or what? Oh, we already did that. We back. Okay, so listen. This one I will say. My bad. I had to get my dog tripping. I will say this: fresh food versus leftovers. If I have the choice, it's always fresh food. Leftovers is like what I have to do. If I just gotta do leftovers, I have to. Do. Fresh food is always the choice. I know, but is it it's fresh food that you have to cook every day? Three. Nobody meals said a day. I had to clean up, so I'm just gonna cook it and walk away. And then I have somebody that cleans it up. I just hate, I, I will cook every single day if I didn't have to clean up. Three meals for your entire family? Yeah, I cook all the time. I just I hate the cleanup part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about all when right. you travel? That means you still have to cook. Yep. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, and that, I'm saying like this every meal. So there's no going out to your favorite restaurant. There's no running to McDonald's wherever real quick. Is either leftovers or you cook Everything that burrito right now that you eating, you wouldn't be eating that bitch if you didn't cook it. It's a brownie. Oh, whatever. <laughs> brownie, you, cook it, you cooking and baking. Wait, what mm. about you know how? What about like if you have like frozen burritos and you heat them up in the stove? That's nah, nigga, not cooking. Fast. Your money yeah. is not. Your money's no good here. You have to cook it. Now heat it up. You heat up leftovers. Damn. That's what you're doing with the leftovers. You're I'm cooking just, everything like, else. This, this is easy. That's for low me, level. I was cooking for a family of six during the pandemic. And I would tell you, it was three meals a day. I will never do that. I took a year off, okay? That was 2020. 2021, I was like, I'm not cooking, not nothing, okay? And okay, so I refused. The Farron, since Fran has quit her job, I'm thinking that she's going to be cooking night and day. You know, we got this HelloFresh. <laughs> uh, we already ordered ourselves, and then they send it to us, too, because of the podcast. We... We have a you know, refrigerator and a freezer full of this heifer ain't done shit. You understand me? We got so many points on Postmates. She ain't she ain't done nothing. She ain't cooked nothing. We have to start giving the food away. And then I have to pay my homegirl to come over and cook. She's a chef, so she was cook food for the week. Just pay her because this this heifer ain't gonna do it. I don't know what's got into her. I hate heifer. It's such a funny ass term, heifer. I hate getting a bunch of groceries and then postmating that whole week and just watching everything in my fridge die slowly, like everything go bad. Like I feel like such a piece of shit. I, yeah, yeah, me too. I feel like I'm wasting, but guess what? That stuff don't get wasted because I'm tired and I'm not about to cook it. So but that's crazy. Imagine being a chicken that died and just just watched watched itself spoil in your fridge. Like you know, get, at least you didn't get killed and ate. Fuck it. At least you just let me spoil. Let me just go on and lay down. Nah, already prepared. Don't fry me. I want to be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be delicious, but y'all never get a bite. And that's y'all punishment for not leaving me the fuck alone. <laughs> okay. I feel like that's what chickens that be walking around that like people have chickens for pets. They be like, I never can eat. <laughs> 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 That's such a delusional bird because the second some shit get low, it's like, man, chicken dude, chicken dude, <laughs> come here, chicken dude. <laughs> what you want? <laughs> oh, no. but wait, funny. so so about the leftovers, like, can you pick where you get the left? Because some stuff is good on the leftover tip, but then some. Food is not good as leftovers. What else is good besides soul food after, uh, on some leftover tip? Spaghetti, pasta, pizza. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, sometimes pizza, pizza be good on the leftover tip. Pizza, the toaster oven or the toaster? Fire. Mm. Italian food has the best leftovers. Yeah. Oh, pasta. Yeah. 
Over I, like, I like soul food, food too. the day after. Soul food and like Thanksgiving food the day after be slack. I can't. I mean, some just soul food be having that jelly that when it get cold, shit turn into jelly. Yeah. yeah. That's that turkey. Like, oh, That's turkey. I really don't see that on turkey. Though. I don't see that on Heat all, it like. up. It goes away when you heat it up. Nah, scrape that shit off. Scrape it off, put a little oh, bit in the bottom of the plate because you need those juices when you heat it up, though. You need the juices. You need the juices. Juices. Yeah, I don't like soul food for more than two days after I ate it. So yeah, it's yeah. same same for Thanksgiving food. Like, why do y'all still be eating that? Like, I hear a bunch of wasters. Catfish don't crispy back up ever. What are you gonna do? Air fryer, my boy. <laughs> air fryer. You hit that bitch in the air fryer, it would definitely crisp back up. I ain't gonna hold it. I'm not really toaster. a fan of catfish. What? what? Wait, mean to offend you to hear to hear say air fryer, god damn it. You understand me? It's gonna be an air fryer for the rest of your oh, life. Wait, 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 wait. Let's let's all look at Ty and just believe because she just said she's not really a fan of catfish. Wow. I said what I said. I'm not really like it doesn't. Do it for me. Let me guess. You're a dogfish kind of person. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> just say it. Because uh, it ta- it, it's, it's like, I don't know if it's just me, but it has like a metallic taste to it that I just. It does have like a gritty, dirty taste. I get you, girl. Yeah, I, yeah, I just. But I, I like fish, it. but catfish, I'd be like, nah, I'm cool. Catfish is cool it's, if it's fried. I've never had like boiled or like any other preparation boiled. of catfish. You had some real catfish in New York. <laughs> you never had it boiled, my boy. Boiled, boiled, boiled fish. Broiled. I mean, oh, he I, said boiled. I, mean. I, I thought you I said, said boiled. Said, I should have said broiled. He did say boiled. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. I, had some, I had some grilled last week when I was in New York. It is, it, mm. It's not hitting like that. You over here grilling grilled that? Yeah, no, 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 no. I had it at a restaurant. It was grilled. It was like a barbecue restaurant. I was feeling like I needed to just eat something a little healthy. So I said, oh, give me the grilled catfish. Big mistake. I said, this guy yeah. brought it. <laughs> what was it, CP? <laughs> a big mistake. Yeah. I, like I be that. saying different words like Keith Sweat sometimes. I don't know why. It's a <laughs> big mistake. It just like <laughs> oh, my God. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Leftovers do be slapping though. I would much probably rather do the leftovers than have to cook every day, every meal. That's what I'm saying. Every day, and like he said, what that cleanup. Though, that bad, y'all. That mm. cleanup though. The clean. Here's the thing: the cleanup's not even that bad when you have a dishwasher, right? But from years of not having a dishwasher, even with having a dishwasher, I'm still like, ah, the cleanup. Hey, you know what's crazy? Wipe counters down. There's grease. You got to sweep the floor. I don't. Uh. Uh-uh. I. I'm. I'd be so tired of that. What's crazy? Not I started, I started using a dishwasher this year. I had no idea how well they worked. <laughs> that shit is crazy. I've been washing up my dishes by hand my whole life. Um, but um, I don't know. I, I feel like you could have a if you if there are local restaurants. You know how there's like breakfast restaurants that close at like noon. And then there's like other restaurants that close around like three. Like you don't have to get leftovers from the whole day. Like I feel like I would just go to like restaurants like that and get their leftovers and it would still be pretty much fresh food. And no mm-hmm. cooking. Okay. Well, when you say leftovers in my head, that means I have to reheat it, meaning it was cold. Yeah. It went yeah. from yeah. So to me, it's like, does it matter if it was from earlier today or yesterday? It, to be honest with you, if it's refrigerated, you can keep most stuff up to a week and it's fine. After okay. that, then you got, seriously, you, uh, when I work the food services, like you got to label that stuff. But if you keep it at a certain temperature, which most refrigerators will do, then it's actually You could okay. just go to a steak, a steakhouse and, and get a steak that was just cooled off a little bit. And that's no, not cool. No, it's been in the fridge. It's got to be like, a, like it's cold. Um, oh, that's and fine. And you got to reheat. Steak is the worst thing to try to heat up, though, because you got that. Like, I like my, I like my steak medium. Mm. Um, so if you heat it up, you're basically cooking it, and mm-hmm. then it's no longer at the temperature that you that you ordered it in. So uh, I, I, I wouldn't want to warm up. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do steak warmed up. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I would, I would, I, would. I don't know. 
But I also don't want to cook every day. You know, yeah, I'm fucking, I'm lazy right. and I'm tired. Let's, let's do the leftovers. That's one. Girl, I'm about to say, I'm like, mm. and you a mom, so you, I'm sure you've had to cook a lot over your life. I haven't cooked in years. So I don't give a fuck about my family. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay. <laughs> Not cooking shit. Matter of fact, we about to order some shit today. You figure it out, kids. I'm not cooking nothing. All right, let's put it to a vote. Ty's uh leftovers. Leftovers, Meg. Leftovers. Okay. CP. Gotta do leftovers, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pat. Leftovers. Leftovers that for means. me too, man. Leftover is unanimous on that one. We're gonna jump into this last final topic right after this. Last topic of the day we have, would you rather have all traffic lights be green in your favor versus never wait in line again? Oh my God, wait in line a thousand percent. I hate it. Can I, can I, I control the green lights? Can you what? Like, can I make a light green when I want it to be green? Or do no, I have no, to- it's just, it's, it's some weird occurrence that anytime you are within the green light, you're good. Am I the only one that likes a red light sometimes to do some stuff? And- I like a red light sometimes. Yeah, fuck all that. It's, life ain't no freeway. Shit. Yeah, give me the line. But lines? That's no, I, lines, I, I think the older we get, the more mm-hmm. anti-lines we become. Because, hey. like, if I get invited out somewhere, if I got to circle the block three times to look for parking, <laughs> oh, or if that out. line is too long, I'm out of there, bro. Out of there. Nah, nah. I'll leave a whole basket full of groceries like, this line is stupid. I'm out of <laughs> here. Man, you go to the grocery store and they, they only have one line open and all the stuff. <laughs> you can't I'm not going. You can't, you can't check out of the self check because you got alcohol. You be looking mm-hmm. around, well, what the fuck they doing up in here, man? <laughs> but I, I mean think of, I get mad so fast when I see a line. I'm like, oh right. these motherfuckers up in here tripping. Oh, I hate it. Even if it's a fast moving line, if it's long, yeah. it's pissed off. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, you about the fast there. pass at an amusement park and then the Pretty fast good. pass got a line too. Like, you know oh. what the fuck this? Let me tell I you, hate, that, bro. And it'd be hundreds of dollars. Yeah. It's, bro, it's $150 for one person on the fast pass at Six Flags. Mm-hmm. 150. Mm-hmm. I wow. think I heard it's like 300. No, that's it, four, they, got, they got tiers. They got tiers of it. So they got th- they got different tiers for the yeah, fast gold, pass. Gold, silver, yeah. yeah. Universal. What does that mean? Like that's if you're crazy. gold, you get to cut all the other fast pass? Like, what is the difference? Hold yeah, on. I think like the, the top one, I think you don't have to wait. So like I was at we we did the ninja. This was yeah. this is one that annoyed the fuck out of me because like the ninja's old and it's only two people per cart. So like we're waiting in line and then the people would get out and then they would like typically they open the gates to let the other people get in as soon as the other people get out. They were holding our gates and then letting the people in the fast pass come over and then fill up. And they were filling up the whole fucking roller coaster and they only mm. had one roller coaster on the track at that time. Nigga, it took so fucking long but they were doing that like every other every other loading they would let the people in the fast pass get in when you got the gold i think you can just go up and get in anytime they don't make you wait Damn. it's it's crazy it's dope as fuck yeah. when you got it but, but when you don't have it you're looking at these people you're like mm-hmm. fuck is, they just you like, thing though don't let don't let like for example uh we went to universal my kids was on a uh, spring break like two weeks ago i took them to universal before i left and um we got the fast pass my kids are all of a sudden they're into the Simpsons so much that like they love the Simpsons. That's like their new shit. And I love it because like 30 seasons of that shit. So they're gonna always have something to watch. Right. Man, but the Simpsons ride is closed down. The fast pass only goes on like 60% of the rides. At oh the- yeah. So it doesn't even go on every ride. So now it was like 186 a piece for the fast pass, plus the like the 160 for the ticket. It's four of, man, I was like, oh my God, I'd be so pissed walking through the amusement park. I can't even enjoy it because it's on me. I'd be like, God <laughs> damn. And they, they give you the weirdest, they'd be like, you can cut straight to the front of the tram, right? And it's like, yeah. nigga, I did that 30,000 like, times. Right. None yeah. of the new attractions. You carry though, around one of these big ass cups and keep refilling it. Like, Dude, oh, okay, listen, yeah. we took everything with us. We took the cups with us. We had the reusable cups and the, we took it to one place. Lady looked at my cup. She was like, you put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> that motherfucking cup was built like. You was like, how you know? She was like, this is from Ninja Turtles 2 from 1994. <laughs> 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 Nigga, we, was, um, we used that motherfucker. Because uh, my, my wife and uh, the kid, they have uh, 
the the season pass. And there's so many coupons on the season pass. But we got the funnel cake. We got the the, mm-hmm. the free cheese fry upgrade. We got they pay for it pays for all your meals. Cheese fries like upgrade. Yeah, because you like <laughs> the burgers and stuff come with fries. Uh, but if you want cheese fries, oh, get it. it was just a funny ass yeah. sequence of words. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a thing called fries to come with these burgers, right? Burger and fries, you get it. <laughs> we understand a cheese fry upgrade, but oh shoot, hey man, leave it low, man. Leave it low. Leave it low. Why are you break it down like that? Well, you know, very simple, Pat. Uh, they do the cheese on the fries, fries on the burger. <laughs> but that's optional. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't mandatory. Like, fam. Hey, that so bad, dog. I got the turkey leg. That's really, that's the whole reason I went. I ain't gonna hold it. I went. I agreed to go for the fucking turkey leg. They said, yeah, we want a turkey leg, too. So we got two turkey legs. I got the bone. I'm at the bone of my shit, right? These motherfuckers got, like, two pieces of meat each and it was done with the turkey leg. I was like, yo. I ain't gonna lie, them turkey legs, bro, they gotta stop. It's, it, it'd be so many tendons. You gotta sucks. eat around the, you'd be like, mother fuck, I gotta eat around the veins and the tendons? That sucks. Listen, it's not it. the tendons, but it's those little sharp ass bones, those little thin ass. Those are the tendons, that's the tendon oh, part. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, the- this nigga to hear, not the tendons, man, but you the little thing, the little cartilage, like, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a little cartilage. Bruh. <laughs> Cut your lip off, go ahead. Hell yeah. Like little, they they like little thin little knives. That's man, all I, I, I just pull mine off. That's how I typically eat my chicken. Uh, you bite yeah. into it, and you lose, you lose a part. Of I it. like biting it like I'm uh, Game of Thrones or something, <laughs> right? <laughs> Drinking <laughs> mead and shit. Hire. <laughs> <laughs> we village tomorrow. <laughs> so much. I always have to take it like, home. <laughs> so man. big. Wait a minute, you ever win something big at the games? I remember on my birthday, like 2018, I won a life-size pizza slice at the basketball thing. That's early. Tight. And we was walking around with this big ass thing. It, it didn't fit in no locker. It was no, a, a life-size pizza slice though. Bro, I have it upstairs right now. It was, it, it was a mattress damn near. It's, it's easily, <laughs> it's, bigger than, it's bigger than both my kids. And we was carrying it around the fucking park like, man. Bro, that yeah, life-size pizza slice is still like this big. No, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why, CP? Huh? You just, like, left it? Well, how'd you get on, like, roller coasters and stuff? I don't know. I, I, I think we didn't ride. We, we rode the Simpsons ride. We rode uh, Harry Potter. You could just put it over there, like, by the lockers. You could just lean it on, like, where you can put your bag at. Oh, I see. And okay. just go grab that bitch again. Yeah, that shit was terrible. Did I mean, why would you have somebody did winning say, it? Did you say Harriet Potter? No, That's I said what Harry Potter. Said. He that you did say that and I let it go because I was like it ain't my business. First of all, it's oh, a different kind one. of ride. The Harriet Potter ride <laughs> is about freedom. It's about <laughs> doing what you got to do. The new one. And then you <laughs> Potter thing. That be, I you, be of freedom. you be you be out there with that later, like hey, yeah. sweet, man. It is sweet, Who's man. That? I know somebody somebody got killed on the one I was on. They weren't running fast enough. <laughs> uh, they got captured. They got killed, man. <laughs> that would be so fucked up to make a Harriet, a Harriet Tubman game. And they <laughs> oh, you yeah. know it's coming for sure. They they done made a movie, <laughs> an action movie. That'd be tight. Her movie was kind of lit. Like um, riding the horse. But she had spells and shit. That'd be tight. Yeah. Harriet Potter. <laughs> Harriet Potter. <laughs> 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 That's, do you still do your Harry Tubman joke? I yeah, I've uh, I've remixed it recently. I, I put it in one of the, the new sets I did in in New York. It went over pretty well. Uh, that's a, that's such a crazy ass joke, man. It's such a it scary thing to do. It is because you could either you could either win them over or lose them completely if yeah. they're too woke. Yeah. Oh no, I've 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 lost some crowds. <laughs> oh hell no. Yeah, all right, time to go. <laughs> That's my time, y'all. Yeah, I'm TV. I'm sorry. I'm so 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 sorry. Oh, I know. I, I forgot this February. I'm out of here, guys. It's TV. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Man. I totally so, forgot. On this one, gotta I gotta go with lines, man. Because of all of that I just said, lines is 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 to be VIP lines, no matter where you are. Mm-hmm. Grocery mm-hmm. store, uh, the DMV. Hey, oh, the DMV. DMV. We're forgetting about traffic. That's the the biggest line. That's the line we in the right. most. You don't yeah. have traffic if you don't got lines. 
Mm-hmm. But I feel like mm-hmm. a car traffic, at least you you sitting down. Yeah, you be standing line in line. Yeah, it, wouldn't, it, wouldn't, mm-hmm. it wouldn't count on that. It wouldn't count on that type of line. Man. You're still in line in the yeah, freeway. But, I mean, but but that could also be you could be in line at a stoplight. So then it would cancel it out. So you can't you can't have both of those. It's only a line that you like standing in for something. Oh, mm-hmm. I pay extra, so I don't. Or, have to or you line. go to like the, right. the um the uh like a fast food place that's online or something like that, but. Other than that, like if it's just traffic, it's traffic. You gotta still be in that line. Yeah, see, I'm I'm at that phase in my life. No lines. And if we going out, can we sit down? Is it somewhere we can sit down? I pay, I pay to sit down at the club. I'm not. Listen, no. niggas thought I was balling on Friday. We went to the club, nigga. It was just because I was tired. That's the only reason I got this section. I need hey. to sit down. I don't care about this shit. I'm too old to sexy. go to stand up concerts. I can't do no goddamn stand up concert. <laughs> Why are we doing this? this listen, see, I, listen, my wife, she went to she went to see Jasmine Sullivan last night. She wanted me to go. I was like, oh, the box seats? She was like, no, nah, it's, it's seats. It's that. that boiler room stuff? Nah, I can still do that. I was kind of proud of myself at smoking groups. Was that was the last one I did though, Pat. But we were sitting down. We we took the blankets and all of that. We sat down. We had our little spot. But like just walking yeah. or just standing there. I hate I hate sitting down in the chairs because I always try to pick close to the air so we can get out fast. But now that means you got to stand up every time somebody wants and to let everybody get in. Like nigga, I'm not I'm not doing it no more. Mm-hmm. Not doing it no more. We just old now. We don't feel like yeah. all that. Mm-hmm. Feel like I feel like you, and then when you get older, you tend to make more money. So now you put your money towards practical stuff like, oh, I'm not gonna be comfortable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I think it's just like me were younger, you didn't like it, but it, that's what it was. You had more patience, you had more, you know, forgiveness. You didn't have the money to pay for it. Who paying $160 Man. when you 18 going to Six Flags? For I, used to, I used to catch bees and pull their wings off and turn them into big ants. And yeah, and how you do it is be calm. I used to slap it out of the air, slap it to the ground, step on it a little bit, pull the wings off, and then just have it into like a little uh, crawling bug. Until one day, one of them motherfuckers stung me, and it all made sense why I had better shit to do in my time. I'm uh, sending you my therapist contact right now. I'm you know, sending the eight. police. Yeah. So- um- <laughs> Fucking serial I'm sending killer. an environmentalist. Let's, uh, that's why we got let's go ahead and put, yeah, put this. Let's put this to a vote, man. What what are we doing? We doing lines? Are we going, going CP uh, to jail? That's what we right. vote. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty. That's my vote. So Guilty. <laughs> Fucking bees. You understand me? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the reason why the bees are, are going extinct now. We finna be out of honey because of this nigga. Can you imagine <laughs> a bee drawing me with a gap? Yeah, nigga had a gap here. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for this motherfucker. Anyway, no <laughs> lines for me, guys. And I gotta no run. Lines. I gotta jump on this. On, 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 Go ahead, do your thing, work. see. No lines, though, guys. That's All right, me. brother. No lines. no lines for CP. No lines for me. No lines. No lines. Same. No lines for me. Same-Z. No lines is unanimous, man. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching another episode of Squadcast Versus. Uh, I want to give a shout out to our special guest, Todd Davis. He in the building. And then shout out to the original squad, CP, Pat Cloud, Meg Scoop, and of course, I'm to hear more. Thank y'all again for watching. I'm to hear more. We'll see you on the next week on a new episode of Squadcast Versus. Peace.